Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to unbox another e-ink product which I was waiting for a long time. This is the new smartphone Hisense A5 Pro CC. And guess what? It's a color e-ink screen and it's a completely different device compared to regular smartphones. I'm so excited because I don't know if you ever thought about it, but I was so curious to see how a color e-ink screen would look like. Before starting, don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you won't miss my next videos. This year, Hisense Company has released the first two e-ink color devices, A5C and the A5 Pro CC. That's why I decided to show you A5 Pro CC, the most complete and powerful model of this series. Here is the original box with a very shiny and professional design. In the back you will find all the information about this smartphone. This model in particular is the 4GB RAM version with 64GB of storage space. Let's open the box. First of all, we have the device itself, well protected in this plastic sleeve. Inside here we have a manual instruction in Chinese language. And this is the tool to open the SIM card SD tray. Continuing through, we have a white charging cable, USB-A to USB-C. And you get a standard wall charger with a standard Chinese, American and Canadian plug with 5A and 2V. For this reason, my European followers, please be aware that an adapter would be required. Now let's take a closer look at the Hisense A5 Pro CC. This is a 5.84 inch E-In color display with 720p HD display resolution and 100 ppi density. Looking in the front, we can see the pre-applied screen protector. I don't know why Hisense chose a glossy one. You can see it's too much reflective. Personally, I don't like it, but this is just my own opinion. It gives a blue tint to the colors, and the first thought I had when I saw it, it was, hmm, let's change it. So I already bought a new matte one, so you will see the difference in the next video. Let's take a quick look at the phone. Here we have the power button, volume rocker, secondary microphone and a 5 megapixel front camera. On this side we have a special e-ink dedicated button that you can customize with a lot of options and I'm going to show you in the next video. This is a dual SIM card slot or one SIM card and a memory card for expandable storage up to 256 gigabytes. Here we have the single speaker, so good that we have the USB-C plug, the main microphone and a 3.5mm headphone jack and I'm really happy to see that. Many companies nowadays choose to remove it to replace it with a USB-C plug. The back is made of plastic, fingerprint sensor and a 13 megapixel single camera lens with a flashlight. Ok, let's turn on the phone and take a look. This is the welcome screen where you can choose only two languages, Chinese and English. Terms and condition where I will leave the GPS on and I will disable the option to collect and send my data to Hisense. This is the screen about the Wi-Fi connection. Next, you can log in into your Hisense account. If you don't have, you can skip it. Here you can set your security settings, so you can choose your password. You can set your fingerprint.
Then you need to specify which hand you used and which finger. Lastly, you can set your face recognition to unlock the phone by using the front camera. After that we have a quick guide for the e-ink button and I'm going to show you deeply in the next video. This is another quick instruction to the e-ink control panel. And here you can choose the normal mode or the student mode if you want to set some parental control. Alright, now the setup is complete and we are ready to use our Hisense A5 Pro CC. So guys, this was the unboxing and setup. Just a short introduction to show you the hardware and a quick look to the phone. Don't miss my next video, we will see a deep review and I will share with you my own experience in my daily usage. Also, I will show you how the software and the OS work and if this Hisense can be used as a primary phone. For requests or any question, please use the comment area below. See you guys!